Hello, welcome to Buns and Guns Crew, also known as BGC. Our mission and what we are is a group of women dedicated to inspire and empower women of all ages and body types to create positive changes in their lives by committing to health and wellness through physical fitness, education, and community connections. In our Let's Talk interview series, we are sitting down with a BGC member and getting to hear from them about their health and wellness journey, who they are, where they want to go, and their why. So sit back, relax, and get inspired. Let's go. So uh, my name is Julie, and I am part of the Buns and Guns crew, and we have here one of our lovely members of Buns and Guns, Cherry. Hi, everybody. So we're interviewing Cherry because we're highlighting members for our, for, you know, to share with the rest of our members so we can all get to know each other and, you know, just, it's nice to find out what is inspiring all of us to come together as a group to, you know, strive for the best version of self through fitness, through movement, through just talking to each other. Thank you for uh, giving us this opportunity. Um, so Cherry, tell me about yourself. So I have cheat seat here. <laughs> okay. I'm married to uh, Samson and we've been married for 23 years. We've been married, but been together for 28 years. Wow. And so we have a son who's 22 years old and a daughter. His name's Christian and a daughter named Michaela who will be 20 on October 25th. Oh my goodness, October babies. I love it. I also have an October baby. I hear you. Yeah, Halloween babies are the fun. Yes. Um, oh wow, okay. So um and where do you live? Where this is a lovely I home. live here. Very lovely. It's the um, first time here. I was raised here I've been here since I was six years old. So In this home? Yes. In, in this, this home. exact home? Yes. So wow. I've been here almost 44 years, almost 44 years, 43, 44 years. Wow. Um, so uh, I had my kids go here and they went to the same school as me, except for high school. They went to El Camino, whatever. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it was really neat because they saw um, a few of my teachers, so, yeah. which is weird, I, but they're still there. I don't think I know, I know anybody who grew up and then got, and just lives in her, in her homes when they're, since they were a little kid. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, well, it, it, it's a plus. My parents, they, so this is my parents' house and, uh -huh. um, they live downstairs, or my dad, it's now just my mom. My dad passed away last year. After we got married, a week after we got married, my dad had a stroke. So we didn't want to leave my mom alone taking care of my dad. Mm -hmm. So my husband was nice enough to um, say, okay, we'll stay here. Wow. So we've been here ever since. That's awesome. So that is, that's amazing. So pros and cons. But, yeah, yeah, but we, of course. But we've done it, and uh, it helps that there's a living space downstairs and a living space upstairs. So wow. gives some privacy. Yeah, no, I love it. Wow, yeah. that's that's amazing. I mean, props to you for living with parent your husband because I know that can get a little yes. ups and downs, but you know, yes. it's it just shows. Cherry is a very strong person. She's very you know patient, very caring. What right? Those are the characteristics to be able to live with we parents. Have my husband here because he doesn't. Do so. <laughs> well, I mean, you don't know me. Yet. <laughs> I don't know you yet. I'm trying. I'm getting to know you. I'm getting to know you. All right. Um. Okay. And um. So, so you never lived anywhere else, basically. It's always been. Um. This. So this is my third house. We lived in oh. Daly City for one year. Oh. Okay. And then San Bruno for one year. Okay. Or, from when I was born. Got it, got it, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Okay. Wow, okay, but still in the vicinity. But majority, yes. I love yeah. it. So if I ever need, like, restaurant yeah. tips, where to go, I'll come to you. Yeah, no. <laughs> I live here, but I don't know. I don't um, go out much either. It's okay. <laughs> I, I, I know uh, TikTok if I want to know something and uh, Yelp. So I don't those even... are my my go-to to find wow, out where to you, go. I don't even go on TikTok. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, um, so tell me a little bit about, you know, what what drives you to do the things that you do to kind of motivate you to, for example, 
you've been coming to our 5 30 a.m classes i've been trying yeah <laughs> tell me what what fires you up to get up and and be there and show up you ladies <laughs> seriously just seeing you guys there and knowing that uh, I could get emotional right now. Yes, please do. Um, Emotions is all part of it. It's just that you guys are doing it. And if you guys can do it and you guys have jobs and you guys have family and like there's no uh, rhyme or reason for me not to um, be there except for honestly it was laziness and it's like oh I could just stay in bed <laughs> you know we've you know, all been so, there um but yeah to see you guys do it and you know I want to you know join and just be a part of it I love your guys um enthusiasm and I love what you guys do and I love um the spirit when we you know mm -hmm. the events of the wine uh, mm -hmm. taste that was all fun and you know our little pre-meeting you know <laughs> that was it was nice you know mm -hmm. and to just be out of my my own circle so do something you know that will better for me i'm gonna give you a hug <laughs> oh my god See, this is what it's all about ladies this is what it's all about because you know, we've all been there. We've all struggled. We've all felt like, hey, you know, what are we doing with ourselves? Like, why are they able, you know, we see other people doing things, but why aren't we doing the same thing? So, you know, we are our worst, like, inner critic. Like, we tell these things to ourselves. And, you know, at the end of the day, you learn to kind of try to silence those voices because, you know, one, it's not serving us, right? And, but then you just have to know that we are human, mm -hmm. right? we all been through it and it's just you know it's all about timing right we all have our time where we sit down and we're like hey i want to be i want to make a change mm -hmm. right change takes time too and so by you just you know being patient with yourself and realizing like hey I, i'm gonna really try that takes courage right Fear is probably part of it too, which is scary. It is scary, you know. Doing every morning, yeah. Every looking morning. at those, <laughs> looking at the workouts. Oh my god, what is it. this? Oh, yeah, yeah. But you know, without without fear. <laughs> so I've been listening to Elizabeth Gilbert, this author called Big Magic, and she talks about fear a lot. And basically, without fear, you're not going to be motivated to do much, right? Because fear is it's scary, but it's also it lets you know that you actually want to do something. It can push you. It pushes you. But at the end of the day, don't let that be the driver, right? If you're just part of the passenger, right? It starts you up. It starts you up. It fires you up. Like, oh, this is scary. But, you know, it's just, it's it's kind of like a mix of excitement in there. I'm going to jump. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. And you are doing it. And I am so proud of you. We are also proud of you. Hence why we want to talk to you. <laughs> Tell us what motivates you, you know? And, you know, and yeah, uh, you know, we can all do things on our own. But it's just nicer to do it with others. With others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then that you can relate to and, you know, like I said, motivation. You yeah. Are awesome. And we don't, you know, well, at least, you know, from my experience, this group of women, we don't judge because, like I said, we've all been through it. We all have our ups and downs and, you know, and so we practice, you know, we don't judge and, you know, your story is your story, your journey is your journey. And all we're doing here is just trying to keep each other motivated and inspired. And so, um yeah <laughs> thank you that was so great that was so great jerry i love that oh okay <laughs> now tell me um number three. <laughs> so, <laughs> so how did you get connected with buns and guns like yeah who was the connection my connection was um g Ooh. geraldine picasso i met her through my husband so her husband and my husband and her also, they all went to the same school, oh. uh, Jefferson. Wow. So, wow. and then from there, that's, and then I met um, Christina and Rosini. Okay. Thanks, Joe. And now Thank she's far. <laughs> yeah, not far. But at least you guys, I, you guys still meet up. That's oh, great. Yeah. As she gets probed by her daughter at the dentist or the dental school. <laughs> I 
love it, you know. <laughs> and and that's what this group is about. I love how it's like organically just growing, mm -hmm. you know, right? Like friends of a friends and seeing each other, being inspired again, you know, and just learning and educating ourselves on how to stay inspired by others and um yeah, and sharing the love. I like it. Okay. Well, number four, you kind of already touched base on this. Why are you here? Um, I'm also here because I want to better my health. Mm -hmm. So, like, my family history health isn't so hot mm -hmm. on both sides, like my dad and my mom. And then my husband and I were just saying, like, we've never seen our parents work out or mm. you know i may have seen my mom walk but yeah um now it's you know hardly so we don't want to be in that stage and we are trying our best for us um not to rely on anything mm -hmm. so if we can do it ourselves like medicine and everything yeah. so if we could do it ourselves we're going to try to um prevent yeah so it's all preventable i love it prevention so, versus medication right or you know i try to um talk to my mom but so i'm hoping if she sees me maybe i'll just motivate her a little to absolutely so, i'm sure it is you know, you know we'll see at least happens. a thought right you mm -hmm. planted that seed she's seeing you she may not say anything to you mm -hmm. but you know you just got to keep showing her, like, this is what I'm doing, and, you know, and, and I feel like, you know, with your children, how do your children feel? Or have, do they know? Oh, have they seen you? My <laughs> daughter's fit, so... <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to, like, catch up to her. That's I mean, great! I know she's still young, mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. but um, I admire her, how strong she is, and, you know, my son... He's just a stick and, you know, we would love for him to build some muscle, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. I get you want to, you know, be skinny, but he needs some weight. He needs, so build muscle if mm -hmm. you can. So mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. hoping something can motivate him, whether it's me or his sister. Yeah. So, I mean. Do they see you working out or? No, they're all sleeping. They're all sleeping. But do they know about it? Like, do they follow you on Instagram? Do they see pictures? Oh, no. I'm their mom. They You're their mom. <laughs> No. Okay. Yeah, I haven't. I'm not what there yet. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not there yet. My kids are way too, too, too young for all that. So I, I don't know what I'll do when that time comes. Okay. Okay. Because I'm just curious. Because, you know, I'm, I'm sure they know about it. My husband's curious. But um, he's really healthy. Like, he eats everything bland. But how we're having this uh, October challenge. Uh -huh. And I saw, oh, I go, Rosini, you know, gave a list. And, yeah. You know, He's okay, just double up on everything. Okay. I love that. Yeah. Couples who go do it together. So he but yeah, he he's all into it. Oh good. So I love the group because I can uh follow them. Mm -hmm. And but when I hear it from my husband, I'm like shut up. <laughs> Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean? What does he say? What He's like, mean? Oh, why don't you do oh, this? Or, I got or it. how come, you know, are you going to work out? I am, oh my gosh, just leave me alone. You know, it's like I can hear it from a trainer, but I can't hear it from yes, him. You know, I mean, that's just me. No, 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 not at all. That's kind of how my children are too. They're so like good with other adults, you know, right? This is, no, this is totally normal. We usually, even at work, we usually are okay with like peep outsiders telling mm -hmm. us what to do. But when it comes to people we already know or you know, especially immediate family members, and when they're saying the exact same thing as you hire somebody else to tell you and you pay for this person, <laughs> when you get you're already getting free advice, mm -hmm. it just somehow it just sounds so bad like much better, right? It's just like, oh okay, versus you're just nagging me. Don't stop nagging but me. But I love that he will, you know, do things. Like, he'll go walking with me. We'll do stairs. That's great. I love that mm -hmm. part. You know, I love that he will do those things. And, you know, he'll eat more than me and everything. Yeah. I'm still working on the eating I part. know. We all so. are. The eating <laughs> is the hardest part. But so. he, yeah, he has that down, so... It's okay, but you know, again, everybody, we're not him, mm -hmm. and you're not him, and we're, our bodies are all different. I to tell him that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we yeah. all mean well for each other, right? We, yeah. We're all there for each other, supporting line. But sometimes, yeah, sometimes it's just, you know, you just gotta practice being patient and um, one day at a time. And you're doing that. You're doing that. You're showing up one day at a time. And I love the family support. I love that your husband's going to be on board with the food thing because that's, that's really... It's hard. It's, it's the, I feel like that might be the number one hardest thing for everybody who's trying to, you know, live a healthy lifestyle. When you're trying to eat certain things and yet they're going out to eat. Yes. And it's like... Really? Yes, exactly. <laughs> But you know what? This is what Mary, one of our teachers, always remind me of. It's everything is temporary. Everything is temporary. So you know, gotta grind it, grind it, sit down, power through, mm -hmm. right? Power through. See how the thirty months go. The thirty months. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I mean, I mean, it's so two and a half I years. Mean, it's it's so it, It's a lifetime. It is a lifetime. So thirty months. Yeah, that's a lifetime. But we're taking bits and pieces pieces at a time so 30 days <laughs> <laughs> all right um and okay tell me what is your mantra like what is the one thing that always you always say to yourself whenever you're stuck or whenever you're struggling whenever you just need to say something to yourself to get you going i have a habit of saying uh, i just go with the flow like mm, that's um, a good one i just follow through and I try not to um, make any bumps or ridges mm -hmm. and I know sometimes you should but I'm just an easy flowing um, that's a good when one when I go out or mm -hmm. do things so I just feel like it you know as long as I'm having fun and mm -hmm. doing something positive then yeah I just go with the flow that's me I love that one that's really good and and staying positive right and having fun you said having fun mm -hmm. because a lot of times I think when we get to a point where we're not having fun that's when we stop doing it because mm -hmm. we're like torturing ourselves and we're like why are we doing this so the important thing yeah it is to have fun to go with the flow find things that you love that will keep you moving right um and if you if you try to resist the the harder is gonna is you're gonna you know be able to kind of continue what you wanted to do so i really love that <laughs> going with the flow right too and, nice yeah no it's so true because when you when you I mean, yes, there's the other part where, you know, sometimes you have to go against the brain, mm -hmm. right? Because sometimes right. the path of least resistance is usually where mm -hmm. your body wants to go. And so you do have to sometimes take the harder road, the less traveled. But at the same time, because we're always going, 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 sometimes we need to slow down and just go with the flow, right? Go with the flow. <laughs> And enjoying the flow, enjoying because all you know, if you're not enjoying it, that's when you are like, nah, I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> eh, see you later. <laughs> I love that. Going with the flow, the mantra, going with the flow. Love it, Cherry. All right. Um, last thing here, we're about to wrap up. Tell me, uh, one, tell us one interesting, interesting thing about you. So this was really hard for me. Oh, okay. Um, so I asked my niece, like, oh, what's interesting? <laughs> <laughs> um, so she came up with is that um, we said, like, I'm a jet setter. Or, oh. like, I love to travel. Um, I love to just do, like, on the spur. Like, I'll drive four hours to go see... Um, Bernie Falls, and then oh. um, for the day, and then come back. Oh my God! You know, you know about Bernie Falls? Okay, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so like my husband said, you want to go drive four hours to go where? And I said to go see waterfall, and we did it just for the day, and then come back. Oh, I love it. You know, um, uh, when I used to work for the airline, we used to go to Hawaii for the day, <gasps> and you know we would leave like around eleven o'clock, get there by one. And then go home on the red eye at 10 o'clock and just to go to the beach and eat. What? <laughs> the? Eat shrimp and, you know, I, I love to do things like that. Very so. spontaneous, right? Going yeah. with the flow. That's kind of yeah. going with the flow, right? When you, when, when you have a thought that pops up and something that you want to do, you just go with it. Yes. You just go with it. 
And that's that's very rare quality for people. Some people have to be like, hmm, no, hold on, I need to plan. What am I gonna do? How what time am I gonna get it? No, you just go with it. You're like, I will figure it out. I am a planner, but um, if I can do something, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Because we plan right. our all our lives already, right? We're always planning, so that's it. And it's actually harder to just go with the flow for some people. It's hard because mm, they're not in control, right? Mm -hmm. They're like, uh, because for me, uh, yeah, I that would be hard. I would love to be able to just like, let's go to Hawaii for a day, you know? But oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I got, I got, I get it. Like, well, what about this and that? So I really, I really admire that. Yeah, we used to take the kids and you just take do the that. Kids too. Mm -hmm. All my trips are short. I went to Paris for the weekend. I went to Japan for like four days. We went to the Philippines for three days. What? We went, you know, but it's because we could and, you know, yeah. it was really, you know, we, my husband just wanted to put his feet down because he hasn't gone to the Philippines for how long. So oh we had an opportunity gosh. and we grabbed it, you know, so um that's awesome but now i want to mm -hmm. take longer trips because i'm a real person now <laughs> and um wait let me touch it's not a robot <laughs> you know but yeah i really miss those days yeah but um, you know that's so awesome that when you had those opportunities you took advantage of them you know most people would sometimes look back with oh i wish i had done this and that but no you're not looking back with regret you're like i took advantage of where i worked and we went on trips, no matter if it was like a day, a couple hours, we did it. But yeah, that's mind blowing. Like, I'm like, um, is there anything else you want to say to the girls who are listening, who are new to Buns and Guns? Um, um, I'm looking forward to this journey of mine and I can't wait to meet all of you. And I'm looking forward to the upcoming events also. So um, I'll see you around. Yay! Thank you.